And Todd won trivia last time and assigned me something to watch. And so I'm going to report on that. And it was important that we report on this now because this is our last episode before Halloween. But he made me watch a, a Halloween movie rec record rec however you want to say it i had to look on our website our website says it's 2008 i think that's right anyways uh it's available on tubi that's where i watched it this is does this take place in mexico or is it in spain i think it's mexico i don't i think i think it's spain i don't know i guess okay Anyways, (laughs) Anyways, <laughs> it, is, it, um, it is uh, in a long line, or not necessarily a long line, but the, it, it's another of a found footage horror film. And this one looks at uh, the idea of a found footage zombie movie. And it's all contained in this one building where uh, you have... A fire, a fire engine has to go and check on something going on in this apartment building. They get there. They find this completely crazed old lady. And as soon as they get there, all the doors get locked and they are stuck inside because there's a contaminant. There's a disease potentially infectious that is loose in the building and everyone in there is potentially uh, compromised. And you find out that it's basically undead zombies and they have to try and survive along with it is a camera team of a news reporter who is just doing a silly story for some overnight no one cares about tv show working her way up and that's how you get the found footage this movie is nuts it has so many twists and turns as you're trying to figure out what's going on um there are some truly terrifying moments. There were a couple like iconic things that I saw. I'm like, oh, that's where that shot comes from. Like looking down the stairwell, like I've seen that shot. It's like, oh, yeah. that's, that is a terrifying shot. Uh, I, I got I got a pretty good jump scare from the attic. I got to admit, like because <laughs> oh, yeah. you're, you're like, you know, it's coming. You know, it's coming. You're like, what? It, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Um, and if the last shot the last shot is a very iconic shot and it's like oh that, that's that's where this came from so uh yeah i i really i i loved it. it it was cool i'm giving it three and a half stars um it's it's a pretty it's a pretty awesome it's a pretty awesome movie and yeah yeah it was good yeah, this I, I watched this again the other day. I've I've seen it a few times. It's I have it ranked number four of two thousand eight. It's it's pretty much my favorite horror movie, like straight horror. Maybe the maybe the scariest movie I've ever seen. But it, it's super short. But I like even watching it. Even when I know the beats that are coming, even though I know the scares are coming, it still works. Like cause, I mean, it is so expertly directed and the found footage thing. Is so, I mean, it's so effective because you are just as claustrophobic uh, feeling as as the characters are. So, like, I, I in the especially in the last like twenty minutes, there there are times when I was just like, I was just sitting there, I was just like, ooh, yeah, that was a good one, ooh, that was a good one. Because <laughs> every, every time I'm just like, dang, this thing still rips. And uh, I mean, and I, I I just movies like movies like that really walk a fine line of, of, of how believable it's going to be because they keep introducing new new obstacles but you're all still stuck in the same building but it, i don't think it ever goes out of line and it still makes total sense and like characters you get introduced to early come back in a different way and uh it's i i, I, I just think the movie is awesome and and so uh, the direct sequel rec 2 is almost as good because and because it has a, a very similar uh, pacing to it, and you get to learn more about the what's in the attic, especially, and and definitely the rest of what exactly is going on on that top floor. And um, so, Rec Two is, I mean, it's even more contained, but it but is just as intense. The third one, not so much. That's like a outside. Uh, I think it takes place at a wedding. It's kind of weird. But then uh, the fourth one brings it home. Like it's a great series. I I, ju- I just think I I think Wreck is awesome, and the the main the main actress is 
I, I think she's fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's one of the movies. I'm glad you liked it. I I, I was finding it, uh, finding it hard to imagine in my mind you not at least being like struck by the experience of being stuck there for 78 minutes with, with this um, mm-hmm. w- whatever it is that you're watching. <laughs> Yeah, well, in the the found footage movies, I always find pretty engaging too and effective. Like, I'm a big fan of Blair Witch. I think that works really well. I think Paranormal Activity works really well. And there's something to the fact that it's that found footage portion of it where you're dropping in on something you're not supposed to be seeing, and and seeing, and it just makes it feel that much more real, being in there with them. Yeah, when you get you get that they are a TV thing. They still want to get the shot while they actually are running for their lives. So it, it, I mean, it, it does ride that line of being like, would they actually be doing this? But you think like a oh, hell yeah, they would there. I mean, this, this is like their the reporter's dream. Yeah. Yep. Three and a half stars. That's why I think of wreck. Now, have awesome. you seen quarantine? The American remake with uh, with Jennifer Carpenter. With Jennifer Carpenter, I I watched it. I I mean, and it does. It's it is pretty much shot for shot, but I mean, obviously in the U.S., so it's not exactly. I don't. It's not the same length or anything. But I don't think it really works. I think foreign horror movies just are more effective. I, I don't know if there is something about it just seem seeming a little bit more otherworldly. Or something, but I, I don't think it works as well. But I mean, but it, but it is also you're remaking such a you know such a well done movie that it's really hard to I mean hard yeah. to compare. Apparently, the little girl in in quarantine is played by Joey King. That's wild. Oh, I did not. Anyways, remember that. That's crazy. All right. Anyways, that's why I thought of Wreck. 